We saved money by all going to the, the, the whole thing went to the same bar. We did. They down And that man wore some glasses. <laughs> Look at this duck. Yeah. Look at that Look at those glasses. Look at those glasses. I have no idea. Looks like books. Well, why more? Like looks like cards. Yeah. Look, there's your grandparents. Oh, yeah. And that, um, yeah. that's Father Griffith on the left. Get picture. Yeah. <laughs> I got the Christmas goose Francisco got from Chattanog yeah. and then a giant, a giant pretzel. pretzel. It's literally an entire like extra large pizza sized yeah, pretzel. You the pizza box. Sounds like I was like, oh, that's not our order. <laughs> Man, check out that milkshake. This place is so cool. You have to say, your chariot awaits. Okay, this was my first Christmas bar. I loved it. It was nice. We wanted to go to Elf Top, but they weren't open yet. And I just saw that they have the Francisco grilled cheese. So they made a, f a sandwich just for you. It's true, I do love sandwiches. <laughs> but this whole like neighborhood is just like the strip of Christmas bars. It's so awesome. But they're not open yet because no. it's still only like 2 p.m. on a uh, Monday. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's deuces. Okay, so now we're in line for the smaller Chris Kindle Market in Wrigleyville. And we're just waiting for it to open. Um, and then we're gonna check out Winterland at Gallagher Way and we get to go on Wrigley Field. Cha-ching! 560, I thought it was only five. Taxes. Taxes, bro. Babe, you ready? We made it to Winterland. No. Hi, welcome. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Winterland. Welcome to Winterland. Good to take a picture by the baseball. Happy It's so cold. So here we are. How'd you enjoy the Winterland in Wrigley? It's fun. It's cool. Cool, right? It's cold. It's very cold. Yeah. If I'm getting one, I know you got one. We got some apple spice, what are they called? Huffertus. Huffertus. The apple spice, some homemade pie filling, caramel sauce, and um, pecans. They're just basically mini pancakes. Mini pancakes. They're going to be hard to eat with my double layer. Yeah, you're wearing lots of gloves right now. I can smell them from here, they smell good. Good stuff. Very apple -y. Raspberry and a crumpet. Thanks guys. Thank you. I got a strawberry margarita and Francisco got a rum chatita. That's good. Yeah. I'm gonna be a, a rum chata comfort. I don't think I thought I didn't like it for some reason. Really? Yeah. So I got the quesabiria. It looks delicious. And Francisco got a chimichanga. Okay, I got one more just classic margarita for the road. 
dessert, and Francisco got the dessert, the buñuelos. Yummy. Spotted this guy in the tree this morning. Came to Cracker Barrel, got a cinnamon roll latte, Francisco got a caramel latte. Finally got my cheesecake stuffed pancakes, scrambled eggs, Francisco got French toast, impossible sausage and eggs. We're at the what is this, the Indiana Visitor Center? Yes, Indiana Welcome Center. And they do they always do this Christmas story display. Yeah. Hello, this is Scott Schwartz. I played Flick in the Christmas classic film, A Christmas Story. Through a cooperative partnership with Warner Brothers, the Indiana Welcome Center hosts A Christmas Story Comes Home exhibit, which is based on the holiday classic film, A Christmas Story. Written by Gene Shepard How long is this gonna be? in Indiana, <laughs> and is based on Shepard's 1966 book, In God We Trust, All Others Pay Cash. The book is a compilation of short stories based on Shepard's experiences growing up here in Hammond. Not too long ago, we no. stopped at the Spice House and got some whole nutmeg. I like having them. They look interesting so as well. So here's what they look like. Yeah, me, Wait, no, you gotta out. hold it for me so I can focus. Yeah, see? Look how weird that looks. Just hold it to say, ew. Okay. Ew. It's weird, right? No me gusta. I knew you wouldn't like it. Ew. <laughs> I'm just adding some fresh over the top of our already ground. So we're making our raspberry Linzer cookies. And it said it should make about 38. What? So, how many did it make? What? Currently have 15 bottoms. Here's our cookies out of the oven. So they're just going to cool down so we can add in the homemade raspberry jam. We're going to make a string of popcorn to hang on the tree. Which is something I've never done but I've always wanted to do. Because it reminds me of... Something Amelia Bedelia did. Are you laughing at me? I'm something at you. It's fine, they're not gonna go nowhere. They're literally hitting this the thing. Oh. One went out <laughs> somewhere. That looks so cool. Oh! Sorry. Oh! Sorry. Oh no. I just steamed you up. We're about to sweater mode this kitty. He's not gonna know what hit him. Nope. Keep a sweater motor, boy. How you feel about this, boy? <laughs> Alright, so we have this massive blizzard apparently moving in. So sometime this afternoon, things are supposed to start getting pretty bad. Right now, it's just steadily snowing. Alright, Zaro's turn. Which one do you want to put on Zaro? Um, either. They're both too small. I see your toes. Toes? I see those naked toes. You need to get demonetized. You gotta, you gotta get warm, guys. The blizzard is coming. And Zaro, I don't mean your brother. We've been doing more baking today. We made these eggnog cookies and we have the frosting ready to go on them we're just waiting for them to cool down a little bit and then we also made these saltine toffees that look a hot mess and we didn't have the right kind of chocolate but um we were just kind of making do with what we had but we did sample one and it tasted pretty good getting wider and wider out there yeah, I might do a quick shovel. we frosted our eggnog cookies and now we just got some fresh nutmeg going on top just a smidgen, like you definitely don't want it to overwhelm, like literally less than that. I bet you it's a lot worse on the roads though, like where you have- Yeah, where more... you have open areas. Yeah. So this when is- When you have the cars like stirring up the snow? Around 5.30. It's been snowing since like this early afternoon it's basically. It doesn't seem like it's been that much. Like I don't even know if I need to go back out tonight. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's supposed to be bitter cold overnight, like negative four i think yeah. just wind the wind's supposed to get worse so it's gonna feel like negative 25 or 30 or something outside it's pretty crazy yeah if it doesn't i hope out. this guy going down the street has some place important he needs to be because yeah. it's cold out there it's zero degrees fahrenheit with flurries tonight's forecast has snowy weather with a low of minus eight degrees by the way there's a winter storm warning in effect until saturday december 24th 
6 a.m. Francisco's bundling up to go do some shoveling. It's zero degrees outside. How was the snow? Uh, it was thicker than I was expecting, but like very powdery. Didn't feel too cold? When the wind hit, it got really cold. Like if I was out there for a long time, that would be fucking horrendous, but I knew I was gonna be out there for very long. It's minus nine degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my gosh. It was minus nine degrees you were out there. I'm wearing like a thermal shirt, then like a, a Henley like knit shirt and a sweatshirt. I have my jacket on, I had a scarf, a hat, and a hood. Okay. I was wearing two layers of pants. In the back of the bathroom is where we have the cat's litter box, and this borders the attic. And I just happened to notice, I don't know how easy it's going to be able to see, but there's literally ice that's bordering this door. It's crazy. I imagine like the um, condensation from the shower in here. Let me see if we can zoom in. Um, there's literally just like a hunk of ice right there. That's crazy. It's just lined with ice down here. So we're trying to make a popcorn string. I've got my little helper here who I made the mistake of letting try some popcorn earlier. And now he is very eager to sit here and help. Turns out Colby likes popcorn. Turns out Colby likes popcorn, which is probably a bad thing to find out. She wants to make a popcorn tree. <laughs> you like in your little snack? Oh, there he goes. You got it. Oh, no. No, nope, came back, back out. out. There has never been a boy who's been more interested in people making a popcorn garland than this kitty boy. He loves this idea. He thinks this is the best thing we have ever made. This is going to be a mistake once he's in the tree, eating all of it. <laughs> we made the best cat cat toy ever. <laughs> Kobe loves this popcorn string. Kobe does love his popcorn string. But... Kobe started just watching. This is my popcorn. Turn that game my snack. <laughs> Okay, we got our completed popcorn garland. It's not garland. terribly long. It's like a good four feet garland. We should definitely keep it. Oh, we up. we put Colby in the bedroom so he wouldn't see where we were hanging this, so maybe he won't notice it. Okay, we got one popcorn strand. It's cute. I never done this before. You never did? Uh uh. Me neither. My first popcorn garland ever. Maybe we can do the whole tree! No, thank you. And this is the door in the kitchen that's also just covered in ice.